what's good y'all we back with another tutorial kind of video on my last video where i showed y'all how to do reaction videos a lot of y'all kind of commented like how do i get around copyrights can we get around copyrights if your channel is monetized can you make money while you still have copyrights on the on the video how do you deal with that and it's a big subject that most reactors you know go through and i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm gonna keep it a honey with y'all i'm i'm in the music industry i'm a producer so i kind of understand copyrights and why you can't just you know uh, uh, and why you can't just you know upload somebody's song even though you're reacting to it and make money from it so i'm gonna explain that in the video right before i get to the video don't forget to subscribe if i helped you like the video so it can get recommended to other people that are also in need of this information and you know we can beat the algorithm so like the video comment some more information that you may need help with and i'll make videos on it you know we, we trying to grow together there's enough space on youtube for everybody this ain't no battle all right so let me get right into the video and i'm gonna come out straight and say if you made a reaction video a reaction channel thinking that you can just react to people's music and and monetize you know and, and and get monetization off of other people's music even though you're reacting to it um it, it don't work like that sorry it's the the music industry it don't work like that all right if you upload somebody's music and you try to um dispute the copyright and say that i have fair use yada 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 um you you can upload the song it, it'll remain on your channel because of fair use but you, that don't mean you can monetize and you know run ads on it and make money, make money off of it. That's not how it works, all right? Fair use is only so you can have the video uploaded on your channel and not get it like copyright strikes or get it blocked. Although sometimes it gets blocked. Um, we'll speak about that further on in the video. But uh, fair use doesn't allow you to uh, make money off of the videos because simply it's not yours, okay? It's up when you dispute a copyright, um, copyright claim on a video. It's up to the label, up to the artist to decide whether they want to remove the copyright claim or not. If they remove it, which sometimes it happens, depending on the music. I don't know. I'll show y'all later. Sometimes it does happen. They do remove copyright claims. Um, then, then you know you might be able to monetize, but most of the time they don't. You know. The copyright claim will remain on your song okay and most people what they tend to believe is that um if you chop the video up like a certain amount of seconds blah 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 you know you can get around copyright so most people they try to cut out most of the song you know they try to cut the video every seven seconds the song every seven seconds remove part of the song and that in my opinion makes the reaction video whack because you want people to see a reaction to the whole song, not just every five seconds of the song. You know what I'm saying? And I've tried it before just to see. And some of my videos that I've cut out most of the song, they still got a copyright claim. And there's, there's really no way around it, to be honest. So I'm going to show you what I do, what I go through on my channel. And just give you the harsh reality of reaction videos for music, okay? So for the sake of this video... I uploaded a song, um, a reaction that I did before that's currently blocked. Uh, you know, it, ha it, ca it has a copyright claim on it. It got blocked, but then they decided to unblock the video. And now it's on my channel running, but it still got the copyright claim. So I can't make money off of it. All right. And the reality is most reaction channels, I'm going to put it to you like this. Most music reaction channels, you can have a million subs, 500,000 subs. It's all up to the label whether they want to put the copyright claim on your song because, you know, it happens automatically. Once YouTube picks up the song, boom, it gets copyright claim. The artist got to make, that's how the artists make their money, man. So if you copyright claiming, you know, if you're trying to make money off of someone else's song, it don't work like that, right? So I'm going to show y'all what happens, okay? Uh, so I'm going to pull up my YouTube. You know, this is my YouTube right here, boom. Uh, this is a dummy video that I uploaded. So if you get a copyright claim, you're going to see this right here. Um, ineligible for monetization, which means that you cannot monetize the video. You cannot make money off the video 
every time someone watches your video the artist will get the stream you know the the money for it basically so this one it don't get blocked most of the time but if it's like a really big artist if it's a, a really new song a really big artist it may be blocked uh and it will say copyright claim okay so in order to get around this or in order to dispute the claim you want to go to copyright claim hit c details boom and then this is going to come up sometimes it'll be one thing if it's just like a, a song if it's music video they'll have like copyrights on the music video itself so then you want to go to each one of these if you have multiple or if you have just one hit um select action boom go to dispute boom um hit this right here other reasons continue and uh copyright such as fair use blah 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 hit that continue um i believe that uh i have reason to believe blah blah this is basically you saying that you believe you have fair use continue then on here you click reaction video so let's find reaction video boom then right here what you're gonna say is your reason why you think your video meets the the, the you know the fair use laws basically what you want to put here is that you do not claim the song or the video as your own you have no intention to copyright you know you know you have no intention to infringe the copyright claims and your song your reaction video is not a replacement for the song itself okay for you know and then after you fill that out i have my own custom uh template that i have for that so i'm gonna post it here and i'm gonna put it in the in the description what i have set for my channel so i basically put this um this is what i put every single dispute and sometimes they they take off the copyright claim but most of the time if it's blocked they'll unblock it but you'll still be you'll still have the copyright claim but um you know sometimes you get lucky and they take it off all right then you click this click all these boxes saying that you agree and then you hit your signature and hit submit okay then once you hit submit it'll either um let me close this it'll show right here that your video is unblocked and your copyright claim is in escrow okay now escrow means that um if your video is unblocked and it shows that your video is in escrow right here that basically means that no one is making they're running ads on the video so the video is monetized but no one is making money off the video basically escrow means that a middleman is holding all the money that the video makes so you're not getting it the artist is not getting it, okay and then once the dispute goes through if they decide to decline your dispute um it'll go back to ineligible and whatever was made during that escrow period it will go to the label or the artist but if they release your copyright claim and it says none like this all the money that was made from your video in escrow will then go to you on your next youtube uh paycheck okay so it's basically escrow means like a middleman is holding the money the video makes while the dispute is being you know disputed okay and then whoever wins the dispute gets the money at the end okay that's basically what it means now the copyright claim copyright claim copyright claim copyright claim all of these have copyright claims sometimes like you see this it says none 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 it means that there is no copyright claim on it but sometimes it goes back to copyright claim after you dispute it so it's it's a win or lose type of thing most of the time we as reaction channels lose because it's not art to be honest even though it's fair use you know we're, we're doing uh reaction videos it's not our music it's not our music video so we honestly don't have a right to make money off of it okay now i'm going to tell you the way that reaction channels make money most reaction channels make money off sponsorships endorsements etc etc now that means like for say you have 10,000 subs uh 500,000 subs a company is going to come to you and tell them to advertise something for them that's how most reaction channels make their money most music reaction channels don't make money from monetization and i'm gonna I'm I'm be real with y'all that's 
that, that's how it is man most people most people who do reaction channels don't make money off the music that they react to they make money off the sponsorships they get you know they selling products on their channel they might have businesses hit them up like yo promote this on your channel i'll i'll give you some money but that's how we make money okay we don't make it off monetizing videos if we do it's like one percent of what we make okay i'm gonna keep it real with y'all man uh, i'm gonna go back to the um my youtube and show you this video is blocked right this video is blocked a lot of people complain like they upload their video it goes live and then a minute later it gets blocked that happens that's why i suggest that you keep your video unlisted while you uh you always keep your video unlisted while it's blocked like before you even put it public always unlist your videos never put your video public until you're sure that there is absolutely no way that the video is blocked all right if it's um if, if it's public and and then it gets blocked after they unblock it that's it you're done the video lost steam you're not gonna get no views on that video trust me it's happened to me i've had videos where it's like you know it was live for like two hours a big video the song just dropped i got 700 views on it in 30 minutes boom two hours later it had a thousand views then it got blocked because copyright sometimes takes some time to register it got blocked after like five days of it being um in dispute it got unblocked and i didn't get no views on that video anymore because that's it that's how the algorithm works if your video goes live and it starts getting a lot of plays and youtube will push it but you know once it gets unblocked it's not getting those views because it's been out but be, being that it was blocked it didn't get all those views so youtube is gonna you know push your video down instead of up so make sure that your videos are unlisted then when you're sure that it's not going to get blocked, you post them, all right? And another thing, once your video is unlisted, hey, let's say you didn't upload it yet and it gets blocked, you can dispute the video and most likely within one, within, you know, the time that you dispute it till three days later, it most likely will get unblocked. That's how it works. Because once you dispute it, they unblock your video from one to three days. But um, sometimes it takes longer. Like I had one video get blocked. I disputed it and it took 10 days to get unblocked. But once you post it, after it gets unblocked, you're gonna get that traffic to your video, okay? But sometimes the label, the artist, they don't look at your dispute. You know, they, they let's say they busy, they just don't see it. If they don't follow through on your dispute, I think it's within 30 days, it's automatically invalid the copyright claim and you can uh monetize the video you know it goes live you have no copyrights on it because you disputed it and they didn't follow through with your dispute within 30 days so youtube gives them 30 days to do, to follow up with it. all right this is my recap for the end of the video when you upload a video you don't own the music you don't own the music video so don't think you can just get paid for it all right copyright protects the artists and the label so they can make money on their art that they worked for okay a reaction video is not it's not yours okay the art is not yours okay so if you get copyright claim dispute it like i showed i'm gonna leave the template for what i write in my disputes in the description um if they release the copyright claim good for you um if they don't which most likely they won't your video will remain on your channel but you won't make any money off of it because like i said most Reaction channels make their money off sponsorships and selling stuff for other companies on their YouTube. They don't make money from the video themselves. Hard to make money from art that you do not own, okay? That's what copyright is, okay? Even though it's fair use, okay, you can use it. You can use it. You can put it on your channel, but you can't make money. That's as far as fair use goes, okay? That's basically what I got to tell you about copyright claims. A lot of people are not going to like it. But I'm going to say, if you really love doing reaction videos, it's not about the money, it's about you having fun. And eventually, you can grow your fan base to really big, like Zeus, who has like millions of subscribers. Lost in Vegas, they have millions of subscribers. The Law Twins, they have millions of subscribers. And eventually, you can make way more money off sponsorships and partnerships than YouTube itself, okay? 
So it's not it's not about the money. Alright, so don't get pissed off when your video is, is, is copyright claimed. Alright. Love y'all so much. If you need more tips, let me know in the in the comments below. Love y'all so much. See you in the next video. We out of here. Let's go.